July 9th. We're heading out for our week-long kayak trip. It's Whittier. It's a beautiful Whittier day. So we'll check back in with you when we're at our beach. We've got our uh, kayaks up on top, all our gear in these boxes. We're ready to roll. All right, there's Captain Eric. He's ready to take us out. Hey, Eric. Yeah. He's got two pairs of sunglasses, just that's in how, case. All know, right. That's how I roll. <laughs> Alex has been on board. He hasn't been on LA. And this is a twofer back aye, here. Aye. We got Amanda, aye. and in the in the incubator, we've got little Adeline. Say hi, baby. Hey, Adeline. <laughs> You're going on your first kayak trip. Yeah. Yay. All right. There's the Chenega, a very fast ferry. Beautiful day. Take it the next stop. Why? Calm water, beautiful day. We got all that stuff into those three boats. Can you believe it? You mean go backwards? And we're ready to go. Look for glaciers. <laughs> Woohoo! Alright, I'll get a still shot of you guys if you come up. Way down there is uh, Surprise Glacier. Alex and Amanda are crossing the Surprise Glacier. That's probably about 12 miles down there. Wow, what a view. Nice little shore lunch with the spectacular scenery all around. What a day, my goodness. Wow, this is, berry has really receded. I. I guess, I'll bet that's been a, even since Tyler and I in here, I bet that's a half mile. So much. They used to be really close, right there in the middle. Cox and Bear used to be, or Cascade and Bear used to be close. Cox, right down there, that exposed point, that used to be all under ice. And it came out, these rocks over here, you can see the white striations in those rocks on the left. It used to cover those. Man, is that really retreated. Well, that's got to be fun, flying in one of those float planes to check out the scenery. Still pretty awesome. Okay, we're pulling up to Cox to that black sand beach straight ahead there. There's some camp spots back in there. Oh, we made it to the black sand beach area. Securing our boats and our gear. Way down there is Harriman. 
All right, so rite of passage, first kayak trip, you've got to have the glacial tea. Glacier tea. Is that your iceberg, Amanda? Heck yeah. All right. We're gonna, that's her, her, we're gonna release a thousand year old Giardia. <laughs> You're gonna have no problem with bowel movements. Uh -huh. <laughs> we shall see. We got the screen tent up. Oh yeah. Not that we need it. It's really not that bad as far as bugs, but this is so comfy. We are we got a room with a view. Look at that. There is Mama to be with her glacier tea. <laughs> that rhymes. <laughs> Mama to be with the glacier tea. Mm. This is Grandpa to be. Yeah. Again. Waiting for my Again. glacier coffee. <laughs> and there is Uncle to be. What? Uncle. <laughs> huh? I think he's going to be a father. No, he's going to be an uncle too. What? Are you pregnant? Shut I'm up. pregnant. Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, you gotta be shit. Going for. Oh my god. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Congratulations. I am. Erica. Oh my god. I'm so happy for you. Oh, honey. That's great. Oh my god. Oh, you set us up. I set you up. Photo op. It's funny. Backdrop of you is a good picture. Yeah. hiked back here to the lateral moraine of Cox Glacier and that's what we're standing on pretty amazing rush of water coming out of there wow The amount of ice coming off of Berry Glacier is awesome. We couldn't even paddle back in there if we wanted to. It's so thick. So Erica wants to stand in the water, no less, for the photo op. That's my girl. Cold. Yeah, you can hear her screaming. You see her cab shaking. Yeah, that is cold water. button is on, which means we are recording. Let's see how we zoom this sucker here. Ah, oh, there's my sis. My daring, adventurous sister. And she is at the base of a river that is flowing out of that glacier. More specifically, that hole in the glacier right there. See all that water rushing out of there? That is a cavern at the bottom of the glacier. All this water is coming right out of that cavern right there. Pan back out, down the rushing river. There she is. And there is the rest of Cox Glacier in all its glory. Beautiful Tidewater Glacier. Very nice. <laughs> on, there Look at the size of that boulder. Look at that thing. Look at it. It looks like it's floating. It's a boulder. 
see that? Trying to get it, I see it. Look at it, you see it? That boulder's got to be three, four hundred pounds. It's just rolling like nothing. Get out of it. <laughs> That's amazing. Go ahead. And the fan favorite, Bear Baggin. Another position, I'll lift him up higher. Okay. When you don't have trees, you've got to use what you got. Go ahead, take him up if you can. A little higher. Heave! A little higher. That's pretty good. Tie him off. Morning two. Packing up the boats after a nice, delightful breakfast. Coffee, oatmeal, conversation. Beautiful morning. It's going on 10 o'clock, or a little after. We bid adieu to the Black Sand Beach and Cox Glacier. The great campsite. Listen to the rumble of the Cascade and Cox Glacier all night long. Time to head that way. We're going to stop at the waterfall after we get through the ice pack, paddle around that point, down into Harriman. So, at that line of vegetation right there, that's where Berry Glacier went all the way up to that height. It connected with Cox Glacier right there back in 2000 when Erica and I first came here. So, in 13 years, man, has that gone back. That's, that's a good two miles back there right now. Just incredible. A lot of ice coming off of Barry. I don't know if we can get through this pack ice. Okay, so we're going to try and get through this ice pack. I'm blazing the way like a, an Arctic icebreaker. I, we can see some leads up here. One thing, what we don't want to risk is getting in there and then having the ice pack in around us. We're screwed. Well, we'll see if we can get over there carefully. This does it, Wilhelm. Pretty good. Pretty special out here. Amazing. And there's Barry retreating into the mountains. You want to try and paddle between those islands right in there and see what it looks like? Yeah. Pretty spectacular, isn't it? So, are the shared ice fields up there or back there? They're further up. I'll show you in a map. So that's just like a part of Barry right there. Right, that's now the snout of Barry. So we're paddling between two new islands here. These were under Barry when Erica and I first came here. There's some uh, gulls. I'll bet that will be in a few years. That I bet that'll be a new rookery. No predators.
Is it uh, right in the underneath the face of uh, <laughs> the face of Cascade? Oh, okay. Well, that's risky. Yeah, the Cascade's pretty active. So, 13 years ago, when Erica and I paddled in front of Cascade, all that black rock you see was just starting to expose where that waterfall is. That was probably th about 30 feet was showing. Now that's probably about 130 feet showing. Still quite a quite a glacier though. It's still very active, making a lot of kept us up rumbling all night. There's a river coming out of that hole in there. An underground, under glacier river. Enter the Harriman Arm. Oh, up there to the right is Surprise Glacier, and up there to the left is Harriman Glacier and the ice field. Well, it sure is pretty in here. There's our tents down there. Here's Erica and my tent in the yellow. And there's Alex's tent. And there's all the glaciers on the other side. And Dad, look, you can see some ice flow coming out. Yeah. I still don't remember there being so little icebergs. Yeah, there's not a lot coming out. We'll, we'll see when we visit it tomorrow. And that's Harriman Glacier down there. Snow fields still hanging around. Water everywhere. God, that's pretty beautiful up here. And there's surprise. Surprise! Wow. What a still shot that is. Well, it looks almost tropical sometimes, except for the snow. Yeah, except for the ice and the glacier. You think this is funny, Dad. What's wrong here? I'm seriously stuck. <laughs> I can tell. Look at this. Walk over on this side. <laughs> I'm seriously pulling as hard as I can. Hey, quicksand. It's going to kill my daughter. Uh, <laughs> all right. I'm just going to have to reach in and pull it out. Oh, my. That's funny. 
Yeah, a little mossy here. Yeah, a little. Get over to the side. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Oh my god. Probably even land a kayak in here. Well, yeah, there's a pathway. Yeah. Morning three. OMG. I'm up. It's incredible. There's not a cloud heart there's not a cloud in the sky. Well there's some Wow. Unbelievable. Oh my god, I slept so good. Yeah, I did too. Gee, man. Comes out a mess. That's, well, that's a pretty the apple. student has become the master. He have in the bush, the wild Alaskan bush, an authentic apple star pancake there right there. His first apple star pancake. Exactly, Excellent. created by my big sis. It was a, uh, it was a long road. <laughs> <laughs> but now we reap, we reap the fruits of her labors. <laughs> You proud, Dad? I am proud that the, the <laughs> tradition has been handed. Like, like I passed down the tradition of the bear bagging through to my son and the apple star pancake to my go. daughter. So let's fix you up with another one, son. I'll take it. Woohoo! Well, on that note, I am turning this off. <laughs> so there are little tents at our screen tent with this kind of scenery. We're on our way to Surprise Glacier to see what kinds of surprises are in store for us. Yeah, you can feel that cold wind coming off. There's some otters going into the water over there. Hanging around on an iceberg. Guess we got too close for them. Alright, Alex, can you turn a little bit left so we can get like a broadside?
Look at the wave. Ooh, look at the wave. That was cool. Oh, that was super cool. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> that was Woo -hoo! Woo! Yeah, baby. Thank you, surprise. That was good. Getting water. Morning four. Can you believe the weather? Can you believe the scenery? Never gets old. Harriman Glacier on a beautiful sunny day. We looked for the rookery, but we couldn't seem to find them. We think that might be the rookery. Maybe we didn't go far enough, but there's a lot of bird poop all over the rocks, so maybe they are just out and about because it's way past uh, chicken uh, nesting season. So, or maybe those crows are scaring them away. Whatever. in Australia to get the fresh water, sustain life here in the great outback. Hello Dingo. And what is the bill of fare tonight, Madam Chef? And some jambalaya. Jambalaya in the Harriman Fjord. Cajun style. Cajun jambalaya. From the south to the north. <laughs> Morning five. Can you believe the weather? Another lucky day. Today we paddle to Hobo Cove. wonderful over the past few days. We'll miss you. We bid adieu to our campground and surprise glacier. It was a good time. I didn't see any more glaciers at all, right? And once we get around the corner, and not just from a distance, all right. leaving our campsite, 
heading out to Point Dorn and then turning south in Port Wells to uh, Obo Bay. Another beautiful day on our way. Hello. Hello. Well, we made good time to Point Doran. We're going to turn the corner and we'll no longer see Surprise Glacier. And we'll put our backs to Barry and Cascade Glacier as well. Quiet water. Good day for paddling. Taking a break here right at Point Doran. There's a little family of river otters right here. We probably, uh, yeah, the river otters. We probably came down on the spot where they came down and they're afraid to come out of the water. We'll leave. You can have your spot back. Well, we made it to our camp in Hobo Bay. And we're fixing dinner right on the beach. Our tents are right back up in there. The beach that uh, we camped at a few years ago, Tyler and the guys and me, there's some people already there, so we came over this side of these little rocks. We got our own private little beach, very nice. We're high and dry. Beautiful Hobo Bay. Tell us what is the cuisine this to this evening, madam. Tonight it's a homemade recipe, an authentic Italian, freshly made from scratch pesto. Mm, and this is handmade linguine. You should have, you know, you should have recorded that, Dad. Well, when I was pressing this out and was, rolling it, it and cutting it, it, it was just going to gross all the gravel and sand you were getting yeah. on it. And we have some uh, sun-dried tomatoes, and oh my God, that. Pesto smells, she put a little oil in that pasta, and, oh, it smells good. We're right here by the beach. There's the high tide. There's Captain Alex. Arr. Arr. <laughs> There's first mate Amandita. Hey. <laughs> I don't, we don't do get well much on done camera. on the <laughs> <laughs> boat, obviously. <laughs> You're not a ham like us. Huh? This is going to be good. It's flat. Ten seconds flat. That's the time to beat. All right, here we go. On your marks. Get set. Go! <laughs> One, one thousand. Eleven one thousand, twelve one thousand. Ah! You came up a different route. Did I? Yeah, you. Alex came up over there. No, I didn't. I came up here. Oh, did you? I yeah, thought you I came up here. All right. High knees. Yeah, no, I was trying to keep my arm. No, yeah. high knees. Got to stay vertical. All right. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go back down this way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The old mine shaft. What is it? The gas line. Maybe they were pumping oxygen in. Some kind of. What we have here is a 1911, circa 1911, Rolls-Royce drilling rig, clutch and gauge here. Get your, uh, your sprocket engager there, and uh, uh, yeah, steam powered these things back in the day, yeah. And, show, uh, show me the drill bit. Ironclad drill bit there. Yeah, look at that. Right there. Zero in on the point, oh, look at that. Yep. That's cool. All right, Rolls Royce drilling rig. Rolls Royce. What do you think that is? Head cover. Head cover. Yeah, it looks like a head cover for maybe a diesel. Look, yep. the, the RR, the Rolls Royce emblem. That's very distinctive. Yep, I bet that's what it is. It's like a big old diesel head cover. Mm -hmm. Probably. It's Alex by the. That must have been the drilling. That looked like a whole big shed there. All of this. Yeah, the drill. House. The ruins all around it. So the drill was probably in, housed inside of a shed. 
Yep. I like the way she's using her walking stick. It's more of like a balancing stick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the old stamping mill. What a nice view those guys had whoever when they operated it. There are the striker bars right out front. Those things crush the ore. There's the old uh, steam engine that drove the thing with the big wheel. Nice park job. I wonder if he was driving while under the influence to go off of there. Joyriding again. Erica's got her fishing attire on. Use the handle of that pot over there. Okay. But no fish. But no fish. That fish has been jumping, pestering hey. us. And here comes our ride. Right on time. The L and J picking us up to end our marvelous trip. Did you see the little fish jumping out? Like, ah! Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is so cool! Oh my god! Yeah, it's gonna go down for a while. Oh, I couldn't All get right. the tail. That, is that was awesome, thank <laughs> you.